Yo, what's going on, y'all? So today we are gonna be reacting to Fit X Fearless. All right. Now, Fit X Fearless is a known, popular dating coach. He's another dating coach, just like I am. Uh, you know, he got this video right here. It's called "How to Approach Any Girl in Public and Hold a Conversation in Field." So I'm about to watch this. I'm about to give my opinion on his approach. If I think it's good what i think is good in it for the typical guy that's watching this and the stuff that i think is bad i'm gonna point that out as well y'all know me it is slimy grimy land i'm, I'm trying to teach y'all how to fuck all these girls in the world at the same time i don't want you guys to compromise yo yo time when it comes to like being on your grind being on your purpose building your empire building yourself up if you a fit x fan fit if you watch this you know i you know i rock with you fit you know we done chopped it up a couple times fit you already know who i am so i ain't no hating nigga but y'all can take it how you want if you want to cry say your opinion let's let's have at it we can we, we can say what you want to say susie we should hang out yeah okay i'm gonna get your number this is how you approach women in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to approach any woman in any situation and hold a conversation with her to get the outcome that you want, whether that be to take on a date or to get her number. The reason I'm making this video is because a lot of guys struggle with having the confidence to know what to say, how to lead a conversation, how to transition, how to get the date. You have a lot of anxiety when you talk to women, you're unsure about yourself and you're trying to follow scripts and it makes you look more unconfident and more scripted. So stay tuned for the entire video, listen to how I approach women, and then I'll explain why I approach them that way coming up. All right, so first I wanna say, I think he's doing, what is going on with your pants there, my brother? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get to that. Let me not lose my train of thought. I actually agree with everything he just said as far as, you know, guys do struggle. A lot of you guys do struggle with approaching women. And, and, and going up to a girl that's a stranger and stuff like this, you have your social anxiety and shit. I mean, guys, I came from the same thing. You know, I talk shit and I say all this stuff, but guys, I started off basically kind of like an incel. Now, granted, I've never been no incel in my adult years. I'm 24. But, you know, when I was like 12 and 13, I was striking out a lot with girls. I, I Because of my game, the way I view myself, my lack of confidence, social, social anxiety, really just bitch syndrome. You know, I tell it like it is over in this motherfucker, but he right though. A lot of you guys struggle with this and I, I want to, let's give him a hand clap first off. You know, I, I do commend him for making this video and putting this shit out because for one, to go up to a girl is, is already difficult, right? For the typical guy to get to a place to where you doing it simply just for the content. Cause I highly doubt fit. Is, is is probably fuck these girls on here not because he can't but I, I you know he probably already got girls he fucking or girls he fucking with or whatever he probably did this shit i'm telling you really just for the content to show you guys as an example so i do commend him for that because it takes a lot of balls to even be able to do this shit so again this ain't no hating shit and i agree with the message of what he's trying to teach because i'm trying to teach guys the same thing nice to meet you, bismarck. Well, you so you're working here right she said his name bismarck like the donut i know i know fit from africa so Okay, okay, Bismarck, okay, shit. You know, you could kind of spin that though, nigga, because Bismarck's got the cream in the inside. You know what I'm talking about? She, she might like his Bismarck cream. He could spin that motherfucker. I, hey, I ain't hating on it, you know, but I, I ain't. Bismarck, that's that's different. Yeah, uh-huh. How long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing this since August of 2020. Okay, so what, what made you get into the jewelry selling business? So I actually used to live in New York and I had a corporate job and in Manhattan there's like a lot of like up and coming designers and I was always in the fashion industry. I interned for Versace. Oh, so wow. I would always just be curious and I would be like, okay, how like how are people doing this? Because there would be a lot of street fairs in New York, there's like a lot of them. And I finally went up to someone and I'm like, How are you here? Like, what did you do to be here? And she's like, All you have to do is oh my god this bitch talk too much fit please don't even take her number just walk off that's what i would do i just yeah you have a good one and i'm gone just, she's a yapper you notice that he went straight up to her he introduced himself and now he's asking questions to get her to talk about herself so this is good because people like to talk about themselves 
Okay, they like to talk about that stuff, especially girls. And this is gonna make the girl, you know, feel comfortable, feel like y'all done had made some sort of bond and connection. So make, you know, this this has set it up. So when you're trying to take a girl out or go to the next stage of progression, watch my video on the stages of progression. So I teach you you do the the approach, the introduction, you get the number. After that, you do a phone call to build more rapport or build a bond, 10 to 15, 20 minutes, 30 minute call. On there, you setting up the date. So the next stage is you doing a date, you doing a Lincoln. After that, inviting her back to your place, and then you go through the stages of and progressions of sex. That's exactly how you're supposed to progress with a girls and, and, and with a girl in that order to get to the sex as quickly as you can while also not coming off, you know, like you thirsty or desperate forcing it. All right. Playing that indifference. I got other bitches type of attitude, you know what I'm saying? Basically what girls would just call being normal. But you know, we all fucking weirdos in this bitch. So I think he's doing good here. He came up to her with good posture. He keeping the eye contact, right? He keeping the eye contact. I think his tonality right now is fine too. It, it sounds like a confident guy. Just get your street vendor license and then find vendors and you can resell. And so I looked into it and that's how I did it. Well, what made you move from New York to here though? The weather, I love the weather. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. So how long have you been in Miami? I've been here since 2017. I will say on his tonality, he sound like a man. He seemed confident. But what I will say is he speaks really fast. Um, that can be perceived as nervousness. It ain't too bad right here. But if I'm him, I would watch that. Okay. And you prefer it more than New York? I love the weather here. I love New York. When it comes to business, New York is like somewhere where you're going to grow faster. Um, but I really just love the weather. I'm all about the weather and like work life. Yo, who the fuck is this guy, bro? Like, can you get the fuck out the yeah. Man, you're good, man. Balance. And I feel like Miami. This nigga scratching his head. You got lights, bitch. Have so much fun. Mm. So, yeah. But so I, I think eventually I might have to move back just because business is faster in New York. Okay. Yeah. So I'm somebody new here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what to do for fun. Like, what, what, since you've been here so so long, what, what do you usually do for fun? Well, what do you like to do? I would say, I don't even know. I know when I first moved here, I joined like the app. Like, I went on Bumble for like Bumble. All right. So I would say he's starting to fuck up a little bit here. I would say he's talking too fast. He's stuttering over his words. He's like, so so, so what would you like to? This shit comes off like nerves. But he is trying to balance it out. He's holding. I would say his body language is good his masculine frame and his body language is good his speed of talking it just sounds like he could be nervous and when you're nervous guys the way a woman looks at that is you don't deal with girls that look like me you see what i'm saying you don't you ain't did this that much you ain't been exposed to get to girls like me or these type of situations of approaching i would guess that fit himself has probably i mean we can't see her face but just off of her build here like she probably just normal fit or skinny whatever the case um, cause it, I know what a wag look like, nigga. I know how to identify that wag on in the back when that motherfucking ass, boy, I, that motherfucking bubble butt sit on that bitch like a ball. Like that ass be sitting. She ain't like that. That said, I imagine Fit has probably smashed girls that look as good as her or better. I would say he probably either has not done a lot of approaches in his life or he has not done them in a long time. And that's not necessarily bad because when you get good at maintaining girls, you don't you ain't always approaching new girls, right? And I know he's a dating app type of guy too. You know what I'm saying? So he he probably meet a lot of girls that way. And when he meet up with them in person, he already done had the phone call, texted them a little bit. So he probably feels super comfortable in that environment. He probably don't do as much uh, approaches like this these days. Yeah, Beth, and I met a whole bunch of people there and then we just like do different things. Um, but I mean, I feel like Miami can be like all kinds of like active. I'm just really boring. I literally just like go into my pool. I have my pool in my building, but I go to the beach a lot. Okay. I used to bike ride, but then I realized my pool is not like safe to bike ride because I was ran over by a car once. Oh, wow. And I was like, okay, it's not like the same, you know, it's not safe, but. Um, Can you stop talking, downtown, bitch? But it's like the Bayside Park and stuff. Okay. You go to like the Muscle Beach and South Beach. And yeah, I've been there. Yeah, yeah, I've been there, but I don't want to just do that, obviously. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to go out at night, now, his body language is like, all right, let's get the fuck out of this shit, bitch. <laughs> Man, wake me up when the bitch stop talking. Like, what do you, you want to do things during the day or at night? Or More during the day. I'm not a club person. Yeah. Mm. There used to be, like, the work, but the work is not around anymore. I would say, like, Wynwood, maybe. What clubs do you go to? Like, have you been to any clubs here that you could recommend? Yeah, I mean. I also think this is too much talking. I don't know exactly how he going to break it down. He got a side where he's going to break it down, so we're going to be able to understand what he think better. 
Overall, I would say right now, my first thought is this is way too much talking, guys. I would not recommend approaching a girl and you talking this fucking much. Ask a couple of questions like how he started off or, or something about the scenery that's going on or something that you can jump into the conversation with about, you know, based off what's going on when you approach or maybe just asking a few questions, introducing yourself. That's fine, too. Introducing yourself straight up. That's usually what I teach. Right. Just go up to the girl. Introduce yourself if you can't find no super smooth way to just enter into the interaction the way he started is fine. I think this is dragging it out way too long. Maybe it's just because she's a fucking, ah, some lama do lama dama dama She's just a yapper. But at the same time, to me, it's like, this is unnecessary to know what type of club she go to and all this stuff. Find this shit out later. Now, he might look at it and say, oh, I want to know if I like her off of this or something. I don't know what the fuck you looking to like, though. That's my thing. Like, what you trying to figure out from the girl? You can figure out this shit later. And honestly... They all like, I mean, it just, it just seemed pointless to me. It's a waste of time. I got other shit to do. I would already transition the conversation to, Hey, we can go out sometime. Uh, let me get your number so we can get to know each other more and I can take you out sometime. And I'm on my way. This, this is too long. Um, I like 11. <laughs> Obviously. I like space. So it would be better for you to make a confident approach. Keep it short and sweet. Have a goal when you go into it or what you're trying to get to. Like if you're trying to get the phone number, it should take you a couple minutes at most like to get to that really you could do that shit within a minute like honestly honestly okay uh, what else? there's marion have you been to marion no it's like a dinner slash um like club so it's okay. nice to go for dinner because there's like a like an event that they do okay there's bar room in south beach that i really like my favorite ones um i really like miami in the summer more than in the winter and the summer i mean it's still hot though i know but you can have so much more fun in the in the summer because you'll see like a lot of people will invite you to their yachts just like guys and girls so guys and girls get yeah. invited on yachts yeah. i don't so know about that opportunity in miami i don't know I about know that my brother was here because i fractured my my ankle once so my brother had to like work my business and um it was just so nice because he's from new york and pennsylvania and, and girls and just people are just not as friendly they're just like a little bit more cold so when he was here okay like, he grew so much personally and stuff so it was cool because there's equal like in the summer Man, it's just everyone's bitch. going out everyone's inviting everyone you'll meet so many people with goals um, people that just want to like how does this go in like, it's, it's no almost there really i'm gonna just let it rock so, i got you so i know like, fit is like beach, motor mouth party, bitch shut party, up and she ain't got no friends which are pool parties those are just a lot of fun Okay, what was your name again? Kesley. Kesley. Yeah. I'm Bismarck. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet like you. Donut. I got a gig going. Good Thank you. My name is Bismarck. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. So he, he got up out that bitch because he ain't like her. <laughs> Yeah, he was thinking the same thing I was thinking. He's probably like, this bitch talk too much. Maybe that's what he testing for, you know? Maybe that's maybe that's what he testing for. I want to see if the bitch talk too much. Because honestly, the stuff that girls like and stuff like this is always usually going to be different than you. Uh, you ain't going to find out how compatible y'all are. Not that much off of that. But little stuff like that that I could see being annoying, I could see you being like, okay, yeah, she talked way too much. My name is Susie. Susie? Where are you from? Well, I'm from Utah. I'm just visiting. Utah. All right, I gotta say something. Fit, what's what's going just on with your pants with, with your pants and stuff there, my brother? It's my thing. Everybody got their own style, but especially the last one. Like I wanted to say something about this here. To the blind dude showed up. Like what's going on with your pants there, my boy? Like I gotta say something about this. Your name Fit X. This might be Fit X extra small. I understand. You know it kind of lines up, but them pants do not fit, bro. Do you know they like. Bro, come on, man. You've been having them for how long, Fit? Fit. You done had them for years, Fit. We know that. They fit real tight. They fit extra small. Your name Fit X. I, I Maybe that's the correlation there. I'm not sure, but you got the nut huggers on, my boy. Like, damn. I know your nuts in there screaming, nigga. They screaming. Yeah, they screaming in there. I can't breathe. Yo, you, your ball's doing the George Floyd, my nigga. My name is Bismarck. What's your name? Bismarck. Them shits is tight too. Though. Susie. Susie? Where you from? Susie, Balls in there singing. They ain't even screaming. They in there singing. They tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air. Like, damn, them bitches. Utah. What about you in Miami? Just visiting. I need to have some time off. Yeah. Mm. I had lots of stress. So. A lot of stress. So Miami's a place of de stress? Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah? All right, so how this is. So these are the little issues right here I'm going to point out. Like, I'm not trying to make you guys be robots, but again, it's like the, the, the tonality is important because you there's a certain way you want to talk to women. There's a certain way you want to talk to men. There's a certain way you want to do stuff for entertainment. I would say right here, he can get better with his tonality. Like, oh, yeah, like he all the way up there. Goddamn, like, you know, hitting the high octaves and shit. 
You know, you want to be more like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, I know not everybody's that, though. And so I kind of have my thoughts on on why he went this kind of black pill focusing on looks because he do a lot of looks max and shit route. And honestly, he probably started to because I know he started off with more like red pill game and then he done transitioned more in about looks. I think what Fit probably recognized for his own peace of mind was he did not like carrying himself in the ways that I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like he he he, he probably learned like, OK, I, I know how to have confident enough body language. And shit like this, he feel good about himself. He is very, very in shape. He got the blow up muscles. He buff as hell. But I think he probably thought to himself, like, I don't want to talk in that tonality. I don't want to do all that seduction. I want my looks and stuff to be so attracted to this girl that that is going to carry me for my seduction. And honestly, guys, it ain't nothing wrong with that. If that's the If you try to do all this mouthpiece game shit and you realize that you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not you. You don't cry and complain that bitches don't like you or whatever the case or they friends on you because that is what's going to happen if you ain't got that seductive tonality and you don't know how to talk to girls and get their pussy wet when you talk to them. They're going to friends on you um, and they're going to peg you as a beta male. However, you can compensate in other areas and overcompensate. So if you struggle in the area when it comes to your seduction, when it comes to your tonality, how you talking to the girl, you could go a fit X route and, and say, fuck what I'm talking about and say, OK. I'm going to really go hard on my looks. But see, this is the thing. You can't just do normal self-improvement. Like I'm a no I would say I did I, and I do normal self-improvement. I'm not trying to look super buff like that, but I know I'm in shape and I'm fit. You see what I'm saying? And I'm I'm taller than he is too, so I got other things working for me. You kind of got to assess yourself, know your weaknesses and just accept them for what they are and try to compensate in other areas. For him, he might have said, "Look, I ain't that type cuz he got like a little bit of I ain't trying to get on his back. He but he he he, he kind of got like this, I'm normal from SpongeBob type of energy. You know what I'm saying? I've come to appreciate your demeanor lately. You know, it's a funny thing, Squidward. I smoothed out the edges of my personality and the rest just followed suit. Now I am utterly normal. And that's fine in the sense that if you're going to overcompensate and be very, very physically attractive. And I think that's the angle that he decided to take for himself because he probably was like man this other shit just ain't working but i would tell him i would tell him this fit if you if you go back to your roots on the shit that you know with your seductive voice and your seductive tonality and you really up your game and you just stick with that and you got these looks all these bitches would be way more wet for you that said it's all about what you want he probably don't give a fuck about that the bitch show up and fuck is halfway wet enough that's great you know or he fuck girls that look at him so that he just so sexy to them that they already super wet without him having to do that seduction. You, you, you can get it whatever way you want to. You just got to put in the work to obtain the results, guys. That's the best way I would put it. But I would say if you got the tonality and the mouthpiece and, your, and the way you talking to the girl, your seduction is on point, it's, it's, it's going to help you so much to where you don't need to be super, super duper buff like this or on the, on the top, you know, 1% side of physicality, right, or looks. You could be in the top 20, 30, right? Which is still really good. But then if you got that seduction on point, you can get results he getting or better. You see what I'm saying? I would go that route because I ain't about to, I'm not a muscle head. You see what I'm saying? Um, and I don't really care to do the cosmetic procedures and shit like this. That would fuck with my mental health. You see what I'm saying? That's too feminine for me personally. It's too much trying to mask insecurities. Whereas for him, I guess he okay with that. To each his own. You have one. So it's about four days more. Fit, you gotta oh, stop wearing the ball huggers, man. Yes. I to Miami? That's yes, crazy. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, see oh, that? That's that. That's that. That's that high octave shit. That's what I'm saying. That that that's not gonna get the bitch pussy wet. It's not. Um, if she wet right now or she like him, and I ain't saying she literally gonna be wet if you talk to him like to Miami. Damn, like I'm not saying that's gonna. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying to turn her on or make her look at you like a fucking sexual guy, man's man, alpha male, top tier guy that she wanna fuck and jump his bones. That helps so much in that tonality. That, that would be the main thing I would critique with him on this. Again, if she do want to fuck, though, it's going to be because she like this. This nigga got, you know what I'm saying? He got his shit wide fucking open, right? Bust it wide open. Then I tell her, bring, bust it wide open. That's him right now. He got his shit wide open. Uh, She can see his chest and everything. This shit is, is, and he still came up to her confidently. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think... There's things that's still going for him, but I'm just also pointing out the stuff 
you know, on where I would critique and say he could get better results. But if he like his results, he'd like it. If you like it, I love it. If you ain't got what he got and you ain't made yourself that, you know, high end on like the physicality side, hell fucking nah. Hell fucking nah. And most of y'all would know that. Y'all would already know that. Or you probably seen that talking like him, your results ain't going to be there. Sometimes. Okay. So what do you do? For like a living? Yeah. What do you do? I work at a pharmacy right now. Okay. Pharmacy tech. So, I mean, that's not where I want to stay, but I don't know what I want to do. So, I've been thinking about that a lot recently. Mm. Well, where else have you been aside of Miami? Uh, let's see, Colorado, Las Vegas, Vermont. So, I think that's about it. You're a travel girl. <laughs> it takes a lot of confidence to go to a new city. Yeah, I mean, actually, I don't know. Like in Miami. Ah, you've been here with friends before by yourself. So right here, this I would have already ended this interaction. Like when after the, she said she a travel girl or something, you could have hit her with, I like to travel too, something to that effect, or just been like, oh, you're a travel girl. But look, I ain't going to keep much of your time. Um, let me get your number so we could do something. You know what I'm saying? We could do something, set up something soon, or we could talk more, however you want to word it. I would have did it right in that moment. Like this, this is excessive. It's too much talking. Good friends. Okay. Usually, this is my first time going out by myself, actually. Okay. So, what have you done that was exciting this time? Well, I've, like I said, I don't really have any crazy plans. I'm just trying to relax and think. So. Uh, and I do like. And I will say, there's a lot of guys. You know, you want to leave like an impact on the girl. That's what guys. Are. How do I say something to leave an impact? Guys, you got to look at it like this. Most girls are not getting approached. Just so y'all know. The dudes that's approaching is usually dudes that's used to approaching and they just be doing it. Most dudes don't are not like that. Most dudes got the social anxiety. You already going to be remembered at the fact that you even came up to her. OK, now I do like he don't do no compliments. I noticed that he doesn't do any compliments. There's no validation on his end. I think that's real good. I like that. Same thing from Utah. That's crazy. <laughs> but, but. It's just life, I guess. Right? You have to get away from where you usually are. She just seen them. Is the ice cream good? It's That's helping you relax? <laughs> yes, it is, actually. <laughs> That's dope. Okay. So what are you doing later today? Uh, nothing. Just probably going to go and meet somewhere. By yourself? Yeah, That's a pretty boring I life. Wow. Because I'm by myself, I'm not supposed to do anything. No, I'm, I think you can have a good time. It's just it's kind of lonely, don't you think? I can get, yeah. Yeah? Uh, I'm, I don't know. I have a good time with myself, I guess. I make myself off. It's a little crazy, but... I think I'm funny. <laughs> you okay? So. Okay. I won't keep it too long. I gotta get going. No, but okay. um, Susie, right? Susie. Okay. We should hang out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in town for more days. Don't got a lot going on. So. Okay. I'm gonna get your number. By the way, I think questions like, especially in like an area like this, I think he in Miami, right? So asking how long you in Miami? Do you live here? How long you gonna be? I think those are questions are fine. I would just try to get into that shit faster. With the way he asked for her number. It's not horrible. It's still blatant. It's, it, he got right to it. It wasn't no big hesitation. Again, I would just say things would be better if it just wasn't so like, yeah, you know, you want to. It's like very like. It's like he knew he had to say that and it don't sound super relaxed like he does this all the time. And, and again, these little things is what is what impacts her perception of you you know what i'm saying because the girl's gonna remember you even if you had a short conversation with her but you got the seduction the tonality on point you talk a little bit i did like when he threw in the um you know when she said that she was about to be by herself and he said she he said damn that's a boring life like i like that i like that fit i like that that's like a little tease and playing with her right there though what i would have done was this is mouthpiece being more smooth and trans and transition into each you know where you're trying to take the conversation to which for him is the number my my thought right here is i'm right when i said that you know what i'm saying i wouldn't have said i'm a tag along i would have been like hey let me get your number and you know and i can help out your little boring life or something like that you know maybe maybe, maybe i could take your number we can go somewhere we could try you know what i'm saying some y'all get what i'm getting at right you understand what i'm getting at basically i can i can spice up your life right or you need some spice in your life here take my number plan like that and get right into that that cuts out 30 40 seconds of this interaction you see what i'm saying at, towards the tail end it cuts out the choppiness of like you know re-saying her name again it's kind of like he was i don't know if he was in his head prepping himself up that you got to ask um you know you know Susie, right oh okay we should hang out like it could have been more smooth you know what i'm saying like it, it would it could have just been like oh you be doing stuff by yourself 
damn, like shit. Well, look, let me get your number, and you ain't gotta always be by yourself. You know, I could we can we can have some time here. You know, we can have some fun here while you're here the next couple of days or however long. She said, you see what I'm saying? That smooth transition. It's easier if I'm in the moment, but y'all get the point of what I'm saying. My first thing when that happened to me would have been to say something like that to get to it. I'm all about max. I'm all about efficient time. I ain't got time to waste sitting talking to some bitch all day. Couple of questions couple of this and that figure this out okay i see this i like this cool boom i'm taking it to this go i'm going in with the mindset like i'm about to get the number i'm about to get to that let me talk to her for a little bit let me kind of check her temperament see if i like that personality or whatever he's doing that's fine but i just think it's dragged out too long it's dragged out too long and then he's asking for the number like she's giving it um and to be honest let's just look at her build and i know her face could be real pretty but i doubt it she very um not saying she ugly but you know, this is like a normal girl, maybe slightly above average if her face is. But just seeing how she look, he's better than her. So this is going, this this dynamic is lopsided. Like, no homo, but I mean, look at her body, look at his, right? Like, she ain't got no big fat ass, she ain't got no big titties. Like, she ain't fat or nothing. She's just normal. This nigga is superly, you know, super me, superly black Superman exceeding in all these areas. So you can make those type of mistakes that I'm pointing out and those little errors. And still get the number because he's better than her. She already think he higher value than, than, than she is. Because that's what girls want. I keep telling y'all that. Girls want guys that's higher value. That's high value guys. That's above average men that they believe other women want to fuck. He checks those boxes in her mind clearly because she's giving a number. But, you know, he, he's above her. So it, it, this is kind of like play. This is like playness for him. This is like play. Too. I would love to see him do this with some real bad bitches with some big asses and some big titties and the type of bitches I'll be fucking with. And I'm sure he don't fuck with girls like that off dating ass, but I would want to see him do approach with some real pretty attractive type of girl and watch her test a little bit more than this. This girl was very compliant that other these other girls, they would test more. They going to kind of, you know, what I'm saying they wouldn't make it this easy for him. Okay. Cool. Oh, and if you one of them niggas sitting around, play the fucking video. Bitch, go watch the fucking video on your own. Bitch, it's a fucking reaction, you stupid fuck. You're gonna have to type it like this. I'm covered. <laughs> Stop pausing it. Three, eight, Eat five. a dick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot you a text. All right. Huh? Okay. Well, Thank you. Nice meeting you. All right. Bye. Right. Ladies, how you guys doing today? With that, with these type of girls, when you get successes, it's always good to hug it out, too. You know what I'm saying? If you want to break that touch barrier. Now, and, it, and it's, it's not validating because it's normal in our culture to end a conversation by, you know, shaking a hand or, 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 or hugging or something like that's not crazy or waving. He didn't do none of that. Um, personally, I would have see he like I said, he got a little bit of like this SpongeBob Riz, like this interview, like, hi, I'm normal. Wonderful weather. We're having type of Riz. But for me, you know, not everybody's me. Not everybody got like the nigga swag or whatever. I understand that. And he come from a different world than me. That's fine. Um, I would just say these still are things you can implement. You know, you don't have to look at this like, oh, I'm not being myself. Guys, you can you can still improve, you know, how your conversations flow with women in a seductive way and still be if you quote unquote corny or if you talk white and you're black or because I ain't like I know how to code switch. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. I still think you guys can stop looking at some of these things as I'm being myself. Like at the end there, you know, it's when he would have been like, you know, be like, oh, yeah, I'm about to get out of here. Be like, uh, like, let's hug it out or something. Like, OK, it was nice meeting you. And you just go in and give her a hug. She would have did it. That girl was smiling and she was into him. Like, I would have did that. That's going to leave a better impression at the end for her to be sitting around waiting for him to text. Granted, is it the worst thing ever? Could he still fuck that girl? He could probably fuck the shit out of that last girl. Easy. Because that girl clearly liked him and he was he's above her so again you can you can afford to make these mistakes when the woman already has high interest or she perceives you from how you look or your status whatever it is that you're very attractive to her but these are little things i would tighten up especially because my channel is about game and mouthpiece and the way you carry yourself with women how are you i'm great what's her name steph and rihanna okay. where are you guys from london london yeah we're london. Going to miami holiday Holiday. A free holiday yeah. to the holiday, yeah. yeah. Ah, how you guys liking it? It's good. It's fun. Yeah? It's really fun. And what have y'all done so far? Nothing. Nothing? Y'all at the beach now? It's beautiful. No, we've been at the beach. We've been eating all the food. I went jet skiing. We went jet skiing. Ah. Stuff like that. How long are you guys here for? Till tomorrow. Yeah. Only three days. What? It's yeah. a free holiday. Yeah, we're going to. So y'all flew like eight hours away to spend three days. But we're days. going to Miami. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> to Jamaica. Jamaica. Ah, yeah. so how long are y'all on vacation for? Ten, Ten days. days. Ten days. Okay. Where else y'all going aside from Jamaica? 
this is what I mean by this is what I mean by interview Riz. It's like he asking these questions and he don't really give too much. It's like he a bot. Like, like you know, you need a little bit more swag, a little bit more charisma. Uh, is what I would recommend for, for you guys watching this. I would not emulate this. You know, like the whole like every time you ask questions. So you going? Are you going to Jamaica? And like, yeah, we're going to Jamaica. How long are you gonna be in Jamaica? Ten days. Ah, like it's like he not really present in the moment with the conversation. Like I'm I, immediately, I'm already thinking this how I would have tied that back to stuff they saying. Like, you know, the girl said something. I, I heard her say something. I could be saying it wrong, but she had said something like nothing, right? She's like, oh, we ain't doing nothing. But then she says they doing stuff. I'm like, what you mean you doing nothing? That sounds like something to me. You know what I'm saying? Like just a little bit more like you playing with him or y'all could call it flirting but it's just like a little bit more like that you're giving on your end because right now he like it's like interview riz like it's an interrogation and he he and then even when he's expressing himself he just seemed like a bot like like you know hi annual leave is only a certain amount <laughs> yeah ah. you only got so many days off okay you gotta go back to work so I don't know much about London girls like what fill me in what what the, what, what don't I know what do you want to know tell me best? The best. What, what, what about London girls is different? I'm gonna lie, there's not that much. There's not much. There's... Have you guys experienced American guys? You American no. guys are lit. Oh. I'm so sorry. From what we've experienced here, I like the way that American guys are more forward. Yeah, like forward. Guys are American whack. guys are uh, like they're down to be obsessed with their babes. Yeah. London uh -huh. guys are always like, oh, like that's bad gay, bro. That's bad that's Nikki. Bare like, I'm not gonna do that. But, so like, both American are single? guys, yeah. yeah, they'll be like, I love that girl. <laughs> I'm here for How y'all experienced that that quickly? That y'all being no, but they just. Um, I'm a little confused on where he's trying to take this. Cause I is, is he trying to get both of their numbers? Is he about to? Are we about to see some real slimy, grimy action. Is Fit about to get both of their numbers? What's 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 he trying to set up here? Like they'll come up to you and be like, "Oh my god, you're so beautiful." You would never hear that in London. Like they'll uh. just be like, "Oh, like can I chat to you?" Like, da -da 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 -da. Hey, I like hey, I like London. Them niggas. They must have a uh, a sign that say no validation <laughs> or some shit. They said the guys do not compliment. Nah, hey, don't tell me London niggas getting pussy all the time. Nah. Either that or they just all got social anxiety and they don't know what to say. It would never be like, they never approach you appropriately. Gotcha. Okay. What do that you also show that American, we just been socialized to be fucking beta males, huh? That's what it seemed like. What are y'all doing later today? They going out? They came here for uh, validation. Yeah. Where y'all going? Exchange. Exchange. You got, you got, I'm guessing you guys got invited there. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Why yeah. is that not the place? No, that's, that's what they normally do out here. Just, Where's the place to be? I don't, I'm not really a club guy. As you can see, I'm like into fitness, so oh. I don't really go out. Anyway, I got to get going. Yes. It was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you as well. What is y'all Instagram? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was nice talking to y'all. Same to All right, so I got some problems with this, but then I got some good things to say too. First, guys, do never, never fucking ask or take a girl's Instagram. I don't give a fuck if she says she don't give out her number or some shit. Like, in that moment, you you already been friend zoned. She's just trying to have you as a fan and put you as a fucking beta male that's watching her. Now, for him, I see what you're doing, Fit. This is a this is kind of a flex because this nigga's verified and got hundreds of thousands of followers and shit. So, yeah, for him, that can help. And maybe he could even set up a threesome, goddamn, if he really cold at it. I don't know though. I'm a little, I'm kind of doubting his game on how he would go about that. But that that's where my mind went. If I had them followers and I just got these girls to follow me, I'm trying to do some old, oh, y'all both single. Let's go kick it and take it to some fucking threesome shit. Come through for some drinks. We kick it, have a night out. I also don't like when he tell them that he don't go out. I think there's a better way to communicate you don't go to clubs without saying you don't go out. Like that's not the right word that you want to use. Um, cause to a girl that just make you sound boring, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the fitness, I'm just a workout dude, you know, I, that, that's not a good look. You want to come off like you got a social life and you do shit outside of that. That don't mean you got to tell girls you go to the club if you don't, but it's just a better way to word that, you know what I'm saying? Or just hold that information to yourself. Um, another thing, I don't really know what his point was of coming up to these girls. Like you ain't get their numbers. You didn't single one friend out. I was kind of waiting for him to come up because what I'm doing, if I'm coming up to two girls, like I ain't gonna try to get both of their numbers in that moment unless I'm really feeling myself. But let's not sit here and act like women ain't super jealous and that can cause problems immediately or and they don't know you. So they'll kind of be like, oh, you think you're going to play it? You know, that would probably cause a problem. Not probably it would. Been through it. Um, I would say if I'm coming up to two girls or a group, you want to come up to them 
and talk to them just briefly, whatever. Y'all in Miami, this and that. But then at some point, and as fast as I can, as fishy as possible, I ain't got fucking all day. I'm taking it to, hey, I came over. Can I can I talk to y'all friend right here? Like, let's say I wanted the girl on the right. I'd be like, is it okay if I talk to your friend? Is it okay if I ask him for a number? Sometimes you can play it that way, you know what I'm saying, uh, to make it known who you came over there for. But make sure you always introduce yourself to the group or be like, can I pull your friend to the side? Can I holler at her real quick? That's usually the way that I always go, go, go with stuff. You see what I'm saying? You want the group to kind of like you at first. You don't come off like a cold asshole that ignored the whole group. You, you said something to everybody. That's how you get more points. And then I'm trying to talk to the friend. I won't get her number and let her go back about her day. I wouldn't have asked for no Instagram and I wouldn't have did this to not ask for the number. I, I don't understand the point of this approach whatsoever. So I would not recommend approaching doing all this talking. He talked from this is seven right here to so this is this is and I don't even know if this was cut up or the whole interaction, but we looking at you know seven, almost ten minutes. So we looking at you know, three to four minute conversation could have been more. I don't I wasn't paying attention if it was any cuts or edits um, that was kind of pointless. Like you didn't really get nowhere. So I, you guys, when you approach girls, you want to have a goal in mind. You see what I'm saying? Or what you're trying to get to um, and get there as efficiently as, as quickly and as efficiently as you can. And I say efficiently, meaning you don't want it to be choppy. You don't want it to be a weird interaction. You don't want it to seem forced and thirsty and desperate. But you also want to come off like. You know how to talk to girls and you smooth and you transition into what you want real quick and you getting the fuck up out of there. Your name is what? Naya. Okay. Where are you from? From Miami? Really? How long you wait? I would love to see her without this blur. I know that bitch ain't cute. Oh God, I could just see it through the the blur cannot hide the unattractiveness with this girl. I do not think this girl is cute if I seen her face. Most people are not from here. <laughs> yeah. You grew up in Yeah, this in Miami? Yeah. Okay, I just moved out here like two months ago. Uh, Louisiana. So what do you do? I'm a lifeguard. You're a lifeguard? That's interesting. Where do you do lifeguard at? Uh, the hotel is right there, Cincinnati. So you like in school and what? Yeah. Going, to, going to college? You're in college right now? Her interest is either low or she's very, very, very nervous. Um, and first interactions, it's going to be difficult to tell. And it looks like she's smiling through this blur. You know, she kind of looked like a... Never mind, I'm going to say that. But she, you know, you ain't going to be able to tell that much in the first interactions. Unless they're, like, purposefully, like, cold and, like, dull face. A lot of girls... And, like, super short. If they smiling and they're short, a lot of times they just nervous. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes it could be low interest or they not interested. But this is why I don't like to do so much talking because... You're not going to talk up her interest that much. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to talk up her interest. It don't really work like that. It's like when you meet a girl and you go up to her within the first, you know, was 10 seconds, she's already made a judgment about you on if she would fuck you or not. Like hypothetically, women, they don't, and this is every human being, by the way, this is like real studies. You already have been judged within the first 10 to 15 seconds when somebody see you. So she already done made a decision in her mind. If you attractive enough to fuck, all you got to do is make sure the approach is confident. You say some little shit, boom, 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 and you get to the fucking point and get the number and you walk off. It's really not that difficult. You know, you don't got to do no crazy real lines you don't got to sit and and spend a a tenth of your existence talking to the girl um that that's okay what are you going to that's study? really it biology biology what makes you pick that no, it's going to be a plastic surgeon so plastic surgeon yeah that sounds kind of complicated but like you see like everything's like he just repeating what she's saying back like he's a, he's a bot like i would you you want to be have more character to you you know what i'm saying charisma like not everything like she say i want to be a plastic surgeon. a plastic surgeon you know what i'm saying like everything's that and then that's it like even if you say that that's fine but add something add something to it you know what i'm saying like add something to it like damn so do you you like like my first thought a plastic surgeon plastic surgery for what like what made you want to get into that so she say it and then or you could play with her and be like damn so you want to be cutting people up you must be crazy. You a psycho. I know you a psycho. You see, you see how that's like. I'm adding to it, and it's like in a flirtatious way. I'm kind of teasing. Like, damn, you must be crazy. You want to cut people up. You want to do surgery, like. And then, then she's laughing and stuff. You see, like instead of just like plastic surgeon, ah, yeah, like it's kind of like he sound like the niggas off of uh, Minecraft a little bit. Like, hmm, hmm, the little villagers and shit. It's like it's the same stuff, like. It's, it's, it's body, you know, it's like a, he programmed to say it or something. And it, and it's if you show more 
if you use those, if you utilize those little moments to tease and, and, and stuff like this, that would be better, you know. And if you, and my thing is this, if you're not like that, I understand that. But that's even more reason why you should keep the conversation short because he's not getting no points from doing that. Like, ah, plastic surgeon. Ah, everything's that. Like, and then a little chuckle and a smile. Like, you do that once. Okay, fine. Transition into getting that number and getting the fuck up out of there. You You can't. You can't be dull like that or be like, you know, interview Riz, hi, I'm normal, SpongeBob, you know, type. It, it, you can't you can't do that. You can't do that. It's, it's only going to kill the attraction and make it worse. And again, the reason why this stuff is successful for him, I'm not about to say and watch this whole thing. Let's just see if he get the number. Did he get the number? That makes a lot of sense. It was nice getting to know you. Um, maybe we should hang out sometime another day. Uh, do you have like, I'm going to give you. What's your number? I'm going to get your number. Cool. Yeah, again, it sounds like fit. You don't do a lot of approaches these days. I'm not going to discredit you. I know. I think I saw you say before you done did thousands of approaches or hundreds or something. Might be cap. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm not here to hate on fit. Like I said, I clap it up for him for even doing this. But the way he sound and his ending, it, it always is very like, okay, fit. This is your chance. Fit. This is your chance. You got to ask for the number fit. You got, uh, you like, I'm a, uh, uh, let me take, I'm gonna take your numbers. We go out. Like, it's like, you see what I'm saying? Like that's, that's you, you want to come off more like confident and relaxed. Like you've done this before. And if you probably wondering like, oh, he's still getting a number though. He's still getting a number. Y'all can't pull that shit on me. Cause I fuck more bitches than all you niggas. I know why he's still getting a number. He's better than her. He's better than her in so many ways. So his value is already high. So the more attractive you are to a girl, and y'all know this is why the black pill niggas say what they say. When you're physically attracted to the girl or she's just so attracted to how you look or what you, how you, you know, just how you walked up to her or whatever the case, and you already got the attraction, the thing is you get more leeway with these mistakes. This is why I'm making this video because my channel is for the average guy. Not to keep y'all average, but to point out shit that most dudes will never have. Most of y'all is never going to be buff boy with the uh, uh, built like fit X fearless. And that's fine. You don't have to be. You might even still be fit and muscular and not be built like him. You know what I'm saying? You might be strong. You might be able to throw over 200 up on a bench press and rep that motherfucking shit. I can do that shit, but I don't look like this nigga. And I'm never going to look like him. And I don't have to because I, I think it's better for a dude. To get better with how he talked to women, maximize like look better, look better. Don't don't get me wrong, cause I know you stupid fucks is gonna take this wrong. But I would say his channel is for guys who done tried all the improvement with their conversation, their charisma, with their mouthpiece, and and being more smooth. And they fail so bad, and they just cannot. They just not that guy. For most guys, you can improve it though. But for a lot of guys, you might not be able to. I would recommend his channel and say get obsessed with getting money. With really improving your fashion and looking so fucking good that even though your Riz is an L and this interview bot Riz, you could still fuck hoes because they gonna think you so attractive to where even if the stuff you saying is in a high octave, it's charming. It's not gonna be. And even if they, if she knew you was shy, he could probably tell these some of these girls, I'm a little nervous right now. And just because if they find them so attractive, they'll think, oh, you know, like. Oh, like it's that's cute, right? But if you come up to her and you just average, or even if you slightly above average, in her eyes, by the way, in her eyes, because it's all up to what she view you as, and then your 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 approach is not that seductive, it's not that masculine frame and that masculine seduction, and your you you a little off and you a little choppy and you speak fast, you speak high and all of this shit. When you're talking to women, by the way, I know that my motherfucker, I'm a singer, guys. I can sing up in the fifth octave. I know I can hit them notes. I know even when I'm talking to y'all, I can get excited with this type of voice. When I talk to women, it's different. Y'all gotta understand that. And I'm saying you can get away with these mistakes in his position. But I do not think Overall, in some of these areas, these is this is not how I would emulate the approach. The stuff that he did good, though, was a lot of times he had pretty confident body language, like in his posture, his eye contact. Uh, I think the biggest cons is he talked too long to the girls. And it's not that smooth transitional from each conversation. It's kind of like he talked about in the beginning not having a script. But quite honestly, he kind of got a script and not exactly what he say. But in the way that he do it and he hasn't made it, he hasn't blended it all to make it super smooth to where 
each interaction is actually unique and different. You see what I'm saying? Like sometimes I talk to girls and it does turn into a five to 10 minute conversation that I met out in public because it just clicked like that. And then I still transition it into the number and I get the leverage and I leave and I hit her up and I fuck that bitch and I go through the same progressions that I do, you know, with my progressions of dating and how I move with every girl. But I also know how to place situations, you know, by ear and make the shit more based off each girl. And, and, and knowing how to do that is what's better because that's true charisma. That's true mouthpiece. That's true. OK, he's suave. He's smooth. Any situation he can derail and deviate and move around and make it seem like it's just flowing. A lot of this stuff is a little awkward on some ends. Right. And, and some of it is the girls being awkward and nervous because this is a stranger approaching them. But I'm just giving the critique on what I would say for him. And just for the guy watching this, the reason why this is working for him, guys, is because all of these girls, for one, I would love to see what they really look like. I bet in a no homo way, fit probably is more attractive than they are. You always going to win when you're dealing with that. But I don't want you guys to go for low hanging fruit. I want you guys to go after the girls that y'all think is bad or the ones that y'all actually struggle with. Once you get kind of decent with conversation, at least what he's doing, I would still say if I had to rank his conversation skills. I would put him at like a six, which is above average. Five is average. I would put him at like for a typical guy that can approach, by the way. He's probably better than most guys. I'll put him at like a six, six and a half or something um, than the typical guy that is approaching or whatever. I, he probably around there. I wouldn't give him six. I would put him at a six because it's a little above average for what a lot of guys would do. And he does have more direction and goal for what he's going for. He know he want to get the number. He know you see what I'm saying? So that stuff is good. Six to seven. But we'll put him in the eight, nine or 10, which will really get the girls like, oh, I cannot wait till that guy text me. It's the little stuff that I'm implementing. It's like your confidence, your swagger. It's not like interview choppy riz. It's like this flowing conversation. And, and you you show some personality, but you still had this seduction to you, this masculine frame to you. You still had the confident body language. That's the shit that I would say. How you should approach women and the f best framework in approaching women. So I look at approaching women in three specific stages. The introduction phase, the conversation phase, and the conclusion phase. So what is the introduction phase? When you're going up to a girl, the only thing that you should be saying is... I would say this with his conversation phase it's too long and i think he thinks it has to be like that uh, but i don't want you guys to think that it don't have to be that long I'm, I'm telling you guys building rapport is 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 not as much as you think you don't have to put in that many questions and that much time and all of that stuff I, i'm telling you i wouldn't do it like that excuse me hey my name is so and so or even better you go and you say hey you seem interesting i noticed you so I came up and introduced myself. I don't know about you seem interesting or whatever. Uh, I, at best, you may you, you can even say, you know, you caught my eye somewhere. I wanted to come holler at you before I get up out of here before you was gone. Like little shit like this. Um, I would say, though, you know, I do like the principle of being a fucking man and just making an approach and being kind of direct of like, hey, this, you know, what's what's your name? My name's this. That's fine. I like that. I like that. I, I don't have nothing against that. Hey, Samantha. You seem interesting. I came up and introduced myself. My name is so-and-so. Look at the verbiage here. Interesting, not that I'm interested. We ain't fucking uh, leading with validation. You should never go up to a girl and the first thing you say is, I think you're hot. I um, I don't think saying you're, you seem interesting or something uh, is the worst validation, but it is validation though. So I don't know if that's, I'm interested in talk. I wanted to come talking to you or something. I, I mean, I don't even know how you would say, hey, Samantha, I'm interested or something. I don't think that, that don't even make sense. But I know what he's trying to get at. I would say this isn't the best representation because it's still like, like you still saying she was interesting, bro. Like, uh, if you was going to come up to her and do that, you just go up to him and be like, hey, can I holler at you for a second? Can I talk to you real quick? Like if she's walking and she stopped. You know, or you talk about something that she was doing or something that was going on around you. And then you start talking, what's your name? Oh, this not that. Okay, my name is this. Nice to meet you. And now you can go into the little conversation, a little brief back and forth, some little, be a little charming, a little seductive, a little flirty, whatever the case. And you, and that shit could take 30 seconds, bro. It don't have to take several minutes. I'm telling you, it, it could be way faster. I came up. I already know. Here comes the video. You're talking about fit. <sighs> then show me your approach. Say less. Say less. I got you, beta bitch. I got you. 
But it's my thing though. If you don't believe me that I that I fuck the girls I fuck, let's try, let's try something. Go to my Instagram is Young and Disciplined. Send me your crushes numbers and they Instagrams and all of that shit. And the girl that you crushing on and that you've been looking at for a long time, send me her number. I will fuck her for you and then send you the video. Matter of fact, I'll introduce myself with your name. If your name Chester Bob, I will introduce myself as Chester. I will fuck the shit out that girl on camera for you, Chester. And I have, what's my name? She going, ah, Chester, Chester. And I'm going to send the video back to you and you can show all your homies. See, I'm helping you out right here. You can show all your homies and, they, and I'm going to give you the alley-oop. Now you fucked. You see what I'm saying? Just cut out the part where I said, what's my name? I'm going to just be fucking her. All, all you got to do is send them the clip of her moaning, Chester, Chester. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to show my big slong dick. I ain't even going to show the Chico stick. I'm going to just keep it, you know, the top of the ass crack up from the back. You know what I'm saying? And you could put a blur on there and show all your friends. Yeah, I finally fucked her, guys. The girl we've all been crushing on. If you don't believe that I do what I do, go ahead. Send me your mama number too, bitch. I have my young niggas get on you. My niggas in the Discord. I send it to them. They'll fuck some of your hoes. We do this shit over here. So if you're trying to test me, hey, you be crying at night. You're going to need four-ply tissue, my nigga, like my nigga Squidward. When my tear ducts give issue, I can't use just any tissue. I need four-ply. to you because i think you're beautiful all right you goes the way i want before i can invite you to be a part of my life i know what the fuck i bring to the table look at me young handsome successful i know what the fuck i bring to the table even if you don't have those kind of hey this nigga talk a lot more confident to the camera than he did to the hoes accolades have some fucking self-belief i ain't juggling balls in front of your damn face to get you on a fucking date if i don't like you this nigga might be watching my videos or something this nigga this <laughs> I don't know. It sounded a little, sounded a little familiar. Conversation. We don't got nothing to talk about. So I need you guys to have outcome independence. At any moment, you have the free will to walk away and say, "This is not the girl I want to go out with." I don't you know if it already be so. So like these are true things, but I'm just kind of looking at his approach. That first interaction, that shit dragged out way longer than you wanted to. I mean, and it had cuts in it. So 48 to here. So we looking at five minute talk and it had cuts and stuff. The blind man came and was gone. And so I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm talking about him personally. Now, I do agree with what he's saying. Be ready to walk away, uh, interact, get what you're looking for and get the fuck up out of there. But I don't know if he had the best example of that. Have anxiety. You're going to always feel unsure about yourself. I ain't no fucking way I'm unsure about myself talking to no damn girl. I have approached hundreds of girls, even when I was just starting out. She's just the woman. Humanize her. She's not some perfect. Okay, so he's saying all the right stuff here, but, you know, that's fine. Um, Yeah, guys, th that's, that's really it right here. Tell me what y'all want me to react to next. Let me know what y'all think down below. Is this approach goaded? Is this, is this suave, sexy man, seductive man, ladies man to y'all? Do y'all see the areas I'm talking about to improve? Or am I just a hating ass nigga, you know? Like my nigga Kendrick said to Drake, you know? He said, I hate the way that you walk. I hate the way that you, you know, with the family, Crody. You know, that shit he was saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But like, comment, subscribe. Check out my videos, my dating advice videos. I break this shit down to the T. Uh, I'm over here teaching niggas how to fuck all these girls. Friends with benefits. Stay young and disciplined. Fuck the girls. Get all the benefits of it with no relationship. Fuck all that other shit. Ain't nobody got time to waste talking and shit. I'll see y'all in the next one, man.